All right, so this is a very long video, but there are timestamps below that way you can get to whatever point you need to get to. Uh, but if you have the EVGA XR1 Pro, this is going to be the most detailed video on how to set this up with your console, specifically your PS5 and OBS Studio. I have done all the legwork, all the troubleshooting. I have gone back and forth in emails with EVGA, and I think I have all the answers here for you on how to get the most out of this product. So stick around and we'll get straight into it. Okay, so here we are in OBS. Before we do anything in here, we're gonna make sure that we set this XR1 Pro with no delay issues, no audio delay issues. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and go to your speaker, uh, and then we're gonna right click on that and then go to sounds. When that window pops open, uh, the next thing we're going to do, let me see here. All right, there we go. When that window pops open, uh, we're gonna go to recording. And then from recording, we're gonna look for the EVGA. There's the EVGA for me. We're gonna right click on that. We're gonna go then to properties. And then in properties, we're gonna click on listen. All right, and then when we go to listen, we need to make sure that we have this box checked, the one that says listen to this device. Make sure you have that checked, right? And then on your drop down, play through this device. This is where the audio is going to go. Uh, you can put, say like anywhere you want. I have plenty of devices here that I can select. Uh, you can select your speakers, you can select your monitor, whatever. I have plenty of options, whatever the options are for you. I suggest you select that option. Do not select the default device uh, because the default device is exactly where your audio is gonna go through. And you wanna try to separate as much as you can of your audio here. For me, I'm going to select my Predator monitor. Uh, so I'm gonna select that. And then after I select that, for you, you would have to hit apply. I've already selected everything. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then here, you're also gonna hit apply. And then after you hit apply, you're gonna hit okay. All right, from this point, we're gonna go straight into OBS, okay? And in OBS, you're gonna set up your scene. Uh, for me, we're gonna go under test and don't mind these things here. This is just for the uh, video recording. Uh, for you, it could be clean or, or you may already know how to do this, but you're gonna set up your scene. I'm gonna use test for my purposes. And then under your sources, you're gonna hit plus. And then on here, you're gonna set up a video capture device. Uh, video capture device, since this is for video only, we're not gonna use the audio out of this. We're gonna set up, uh, we're gonna call this PS5 uh, video, video, hit okay. Okay, and then we're gonna go into here on device drop down. we're gonna select EVGA XR1 Pro. Let me change this around real quick, you guys, uh, make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right, we're gonna go back into it. All right, so we selected the EVGA One Pro. Your resolution is going to be whatever you record at or you live stream, but I suggest you select custom. And then for your drop down on that, for me, it's going to be 1920 by 1080. And then I'm also gonna match the output, which is going to be 60 FPS. Uh, so that's what I record at and I game at, uh, or at least I stream at. Uh, so make sure you do that. The other thing that I'm going to tell you is leave this alone. Do not mess with this. Leave the capture audio alone. As you can see in here, we already have the audio coming in from uh, from from uh, the, the, the PS5. But leave this alone. Don't do anything with this, okay? From this point on, I'm going to select, tell you to mute this. I'm also going to tell you to volume that down for the PS5 audio because we're not going to use that. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to set up another audio uh, device, another source. Uh, we're going to go to audio output capture. And this is where you're going to type in your PS5 audio. Uh, that at least that's what I'm naming it. You name it whatever you need to name it. And, and here we're going to select wherever you selected that audio to go out to, whether it was your speakers, whether it was another monitor, whatever it was. This is exactly where you're going to select your audio. And this is where you're going to be capturing your audio from. For me, it's my uh, Predator monitor, so I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna hit OK. And as you can see, now I have the audio coming in through here. OK, and that's it. Uh, now that you're all set up with your audio, you won't have any latency issues this way. You won't have any delay issues this way uh, because you're capturing the audio directly from the monitor and you won't have the audio buildup that uh, EVGA has problems with, uh, at least with the XR1 Pro that some people are experiencing uh, where the air audio builds up and stacks up and then you start getting delay if that's what you were here for there you go you're all set ready to go uh now uh so we're going to go into a little bit more comprehensive on how to set this whole thing up with the uh audio card or with the video capture card i apologize 
All right, so I have made a few changes here real quick. That way you guys can see uh, what I got going on. Uh, so if you guys don't know, with the XR1 Pro, when you right click to the right, this controls your audio for your game and your chat. At least that's what EVGA says, but it controls your audio for your game and your chat both at the same time. Uh, there is no separating either of them, okay? Uh, when you click to the left, that's your mic input volume, mic output. Uh, that way that, that controls your your mic volume. Okay, we're gonna connect everything. So here you have your uh, Chat link cable that came with your EVGA. We're gonna connect that to the input on the right side And as you notice when I connected that you see that the audio uh, Went off on the gameplay audio. This is my mic audio. That's still moving but my gameplay audio went off and look at this when I disconnect It's back again. Okay, so I'm gonna connect it again and you'll notice that the game audio will go out. There we go, game audio is out. And the reason that it does that is because once you connect that, your the EVGA XR1 Pro only recognizes the audio input coming in through here. It does not recognize the audio coming through the HDMI, at least for uh, when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to, oh my gosh, when it comes to OBS, Sorry about that. Your HDMI through uh, pass through is still going by. So you're still going to get audio on your TV or your monitor, however you have this set up. But your audio in here is only being recognized for OBS uh, as soon as you plug this in. So OBS and your headset as soon as you plug this in. Okay. Then I'm going to take my headset. I'm going to plug that in. Okay. Now I got my headset here. And as soon as I plug in my headset, you're going to notice that the audio from my me speaking is also coming through. Let me put this on this way. That way my audio is a little bit better. But you see that my audio coming through is going to be a little bit, it's coming through because my microphone is also picking up my microphone. So you're not, you don't have the ability to separate your microphone audio. You don't have the ability to separate your chat audio. You don't have the ability to uh, separate your game audio this way. This is the only way that you'll be able to do it. This is the only way that it's gonna work. Okay, if you left click, make sure your volume for your uh, microphone is all the way up. And then when you right click, make sure this is up. We're going to go through a couple settings here. All right, I'm going to plug in the uh, chat link cable to my controller. There you go. Uh, now what we're going to do is going to go into the PlayStation settings here. So I'm going to go into uh, settings. Let's go to settings here. And then we're going to drop down to sound and an audio output. Now this is just for me, it may change over by itself on you. I might change over automatically for you if you haven't changed your settings like I have, uh, but also uh, change this out here, go to controller headset and make sure that your output to headphones is all audio. Uh, also, if you set up 3D audio, you're perfect because your 3D audio profile will carry over and you'll still be able to get 3D audio through your headphones. Uh, Okay, next thing on your system settings, you're gonna go into system and then you're gonna drop down to HDMI and enable HDCP, you wanna turn that off, that way you don't have any issues and uh, you can disable your NHA, uh, HDCP. Uh, the, you, you shouldn't have any issues with games on this. This is more for like, uh, if you're like watching YouTube or if you're watching movies or something so you can't record them. Uh, so, but you have to make sure you, this, you turn off your HDCP. That way you're good to go on that and you have no issues recording your game. All right, now we're gonna go back into the game uh, because we have done, set all that up. So just so you guys know, this audio here, right? This, we're gonna right click onto the XR1 Pro. And if you'll notice, we're gonna turn down the audio. And you're gonna have to mess with this on your own. You're gonna have to figure out your own settings, but this is gonna turn down your chat audio. This is gonna turn out your game audio. What I suggest you do if your volume's a little too low, uh, like it is for me, I would go into filters for the PS5 audio. We're gonna go into filters here to the PS5 audio. And then in your filters, add a gain, add a gain. Use your microphone, so turn down the, the game audio and then uh, use your microphone to talk, bring that up to a nice decent level. I would say somewhere around the uh, 10 and uh, you should be good right around there maybe I don't know, somewhere around there, it should be good. And then I would close, uh, I would also add uh, one more, which is going to be a uh, limiter. That way, if you scream or anything, it doesn't go too far. 
add a limiter for whatever you want normally i would have it at right around 10 that way nothing goes above that but you make the decision on where you want this okay uh, and then you can close that out unfortunately because you only have one audio setting for everything including your microphone uh end game and chat you do not have the ability to separate your audio on your microphone uh, and then add all these other filters and all that stuff anyways but that's it that's it you're all done if this is what you wanted to know you're all set up and you're ready to go now i can give you some more details on what i would suggest for you to do instead of setting it up this way okay the one problem that i see is if you're live streaming with the evga set up the way that it's set up because you have no way of monitoring your live stream if you set it up so if you have music going out to your live stream you won't be able to hear it uh if you have notifications coming through your out live stream you won't be able to hear it all through one headset you're gonna have to set up a separate audio device either for it to come out through your speakers or you're gonna have to wear a second headphone and put it in with your other headset that way you can monitor what's going on through uh to your live stream right so if you have notifications you won't hear them unless at least through the same headset what i would suggest is for you to go out and buy a chat link pro or a chat link cable uh for the elgato this is a chat link pro this is a chat link pro uh it, this has a uh noise isolator on it uh you don't have to get this specific one but this one is the one that i use with the noise isolator uh and then what this has it has uh some plugins you have the splitter here this is what plugs into your controller, right? You have the splitter. It's a little hard because I have a lot of cables here. Uh, this is what plugs into your controller here. This is your TRRS, your tip ring ring sleeve, right? That has four little outputs there. This is your TRRS that plugs into your controller. This is your TRRS female input. And this on the other side of the uh, cable where the noise isolator is closest to, closest to, you have your normal trs tip ring sleeve okay what you're gonna do right is you're gonna need this cable not only you're gonna need this cable you're also going to need and i don't know if your headsets came with this but if your headsets doesn't come with this you're also going to need a splitter for your headset and this is uh what splits your microphone and your and your uh gameplay or your stereo uh and i think you can see it there where you have your microphone and your stereo both of these connectors are also tip ring sleeve trs right and then you're going to need one more cable and this is an adapter that takes your microphone and converts it back to a trrs okay you're going to take this cable on your splitter you're going to connect your microphone because your microphone says TRS, you're gonna plug it into the female here, and then you're gonna take that here, your TRRS, and on your chat link cable, you're gonna connect that to the female part there, okay? You're also going to need, uh, just real quick, you're also gonna need a secondary microphone like I'm using here, okay? And then you're gonna take that cable, we're gonna disconnect here, and you're gonna take the chat link cable connected to your PlayStation. And then the other end, we're gonna disconnect this other one. You're not gonna need this cable anymore that came with the XR1 Pro. You're not gonna need that because you're gonna connect the new cable onto the input. You're also going to disconnect your headphones from there you're going to disconnect your headphones because your headphones are no longer going to get connected there instead your headphones are going to get connected onto the splitter to your headphone splitter okay so right now i have my headset right my headset my my headset is going straight into the splitter the splitter into the adapter the adapter into the female of the chat link the chat link uh into the controller on the split on the y split side and then the one with the isolator, right? The one with the isolator is going into the XR1 Pro. Now, unfortunately, this requires you to have a second microphone. So you're gonna have to invest on a second microphone as well. That way you have one microphone to talk to your live stream, and then you have your headset microphone to be able to talk to your party chat on your PlayStation. Now, if you're going through Discord and you're using Discord through the computer, that's a completely separate issue. Uh, but this is for you to be able to use your PlayStation 5 
Uh, anyways, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your stereo input and you're going to connect that to your speakers or to whatever output is on your computer. And then we're going to go back into OBS. And then once we're in OBS, we're going to set up a, a couple of things. Uh, you're going to go into your settings and then your audio. And then here you're going to, I'm going to switch this over to my speakers real quick. Uh, where are they? Logitech. There we go. Hit apply. Hit OK. And now on my headset, right, I can hear myself talking. I can hear myself talking. If I had music playing for my live stream, I'll be able to hear the music. I'll be able to monitor the uh, PS5, uh, the game audio. And again, you guys, everything here that I'm saying, you're still going to have to come in uh, to your PS5 and you're going to have to monitor your volume through here and your audio balance. You're going to have to monitor that here as well. Uh, this way you can move it left and right for whatever, whether you want more game audio or you want more chat audio. If you have a party chat, you're going to have to go in individually and monitor that and then select your audio levels and lift them up and lift them out. If someone's too loud, you know, whatever. And if you got to mute them, you're going to have to go through that as well. Uh, because the XR1 Pro, this is only controlling the full input audio of the game and everything. So that is my suggestion to you guys. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. And then the last thing is go in here, advanced audio property. This is for the PS5 and make sure that you are monitoring that. Anything that you want to hear through your headsets, anything that you want to hear through your headsets, make sure that you are monitoring it. So if you have your music coming through here, make sure you're monitoring out. If you have your chat, I'm sorry, your notifications, make sure you have your monitoring that through here. But anyways, that's it. That's it. And uh, I, I, it costs a little bit more, right? It costs a little bit more. You do need two microphones instead of one uh, because I can't recommend all these other plugins. Like there's other ways to do this where you can plug in a whole bunch of adapters, like a whole bunch of cables. And I already have a lot of cables as it is, but you can plug in a whole bunch of splitters and all that and kind of get the same result. But I can't recommend that. And a couple of reasons I can't recommend that because one, it's not safe and you can damage your audio and your headsets over time. It's a possibility, minute possibility, but it's a possibility. Uh, so what I have tried and done here, I would suggest you go the same route. Uh, if you have the money, if not setting up the EVGA XR1 Pro for you to use it exactly how it comes from factory. All you got to do is keep in mind that you're going to be monitoring all your audio uh, straight through the PlayStation sounds. And if you have party chat, you're going to have to go into the party chat and monitor your volumes through there. OK, but you won't be able to hear your uh you won't be able to hear your your OBS. You won't be able to monitor your OBS. But if you have the audio go out to other speakers, you're fine. You can hear the notifications when they come in. You can hear the music when it comes in. Uh, whatever you have going on in the background, you'll be able to hear it through the other speakers when it comes in. Uh, and it should it'll be picked up on your microphone. Or if you want to have a second set of headphones, which is cheap, uh, I, you can use these. This is my uh, iPod. Uh, my my iPhone um, headphones with the 3.5 millimeter, you know, you can set that and plug that into your computer and then put one more audio in and you can listen to it that way. But anyways, you guys let me know what you think. Hopefully this has helped you out some way, somehow. Maybe I made this more confusing than what it needed to be or it helped you out. But whatever you guys, if you uh, if you have any questions, put it in the, in the chat below. I'll try to help you out as best as I can. Uh, if you have any suggestions or any of uh, uh, and if you have any other uh, tips and tricks on how you set this up, put it in the chat. Let us know if you want me to make a completely different video because I don't have my settings this way. I have a completely different setup uh, where I have everything 100 percent separated. Uh, if you want me to show you that, I will make that video, but that video might be a lot longer than this one. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for being here with me tonight or today or morning or afternoon or whatever it may be with you. Uh, thank you for hanging out and watching this video. And you guys, until next time, remember to stay inadequate. Remember to hit that like.